Hello, bonjour. I'm Isabelle Michaud. I'm a visual artist from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. God. <laughs> During the pandemic, I found it very difficult to um, continue exhibiting. And so I decided to take my work to uh, the outside and uh, start walking uh, with my work and uh, be inspired by the environment, the beautiful uh, Sault Ste. Marie area. And so uh, it is with a great pleasure that I uh, would like to share my work, which will be called, entitled Traces, Trace. And the idea is that um, I let the environment influence what will be on the board then I come and I send it off and start again. Um, the idea of impermanence uh, felt very actually reassuring um, and I felt that I needed to think more closely um, to about my um, materials and um, the ways that I was uh, making my artwork known and so this is what i i will be doing uh for sparks of hope thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you soon. I had to do a an outdoors show exhibition last summer and I had asked if I could build some sculptures in a park outside and I never got confirmation that I could so I decided to take my work outside I always felt the presence of the St. Mary's River because I grew up in Quebec City near Fleuve Saint Laurent and I remember going for walks near the river and um, ever since I lived here I have felt the closeness of the river. When I walk by the river, I listen to the sounds. I try to think, what can I hear? The water, the sounds from across the river that come from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, which is a big brother next door. And I feel a sense of presence, but also of an incredible amount of time. Like I feel millions of years when I look at the river and I think, what does it matter what the United States does or think? It's a blip in the life of this river. This river has been here hundreds and thousands of years and it will always be here. It's bigger than us, bigger than anything. My 
I think of all those thoughts while I walk and then when I come to my studio I think about what did I see, what did I hear. Sometimes it's ducks and uh, sometimes it's a mosquito. I got bit by a mosquito uh, and I'll do a mosquito. Sometimes it can be a windsock that I saw. Anything that I respond to, a plant, a tree that I saw, and then I honor it on the board. And I quickly, maybe a week later, sand it off and start a new one. Sometimes it's painful to erase and send off that image because I really like it and I would like to keep it, but I think it needs to make room for the next piece that will go. The next piece needs to, to be there too. I keep it going and I think, well, I'll just become a better painter anyway as I'm going because I keep working on it. I keep uh, seeking new marks and seeking new ways of talking about my subject. So it's going to improve my painting in general. It's going to make me grow. One of the most important things in art making, I believe, it's its power in transformation. How it can reveal yourself to yourself and to others, of course. Through the art making, you discover more and more about your past, your history, your present, what it is that makes you do the things you do, and it brings a sense of authenticity and um, it allows you to think about what is important to you and the more you become engaged with your materials and your art making and your processes, the more you, you, you do that, the more you speak of yourself and your history and what matters to you, the more you affect a change in your community. I usually give place in my work to the French language and this is how I can effect a little bit of a change. I believe that the art that I do, that I make, can open eyes and open minds. Mm -hmm.